Hi everybody. So we're going to continue with our sensibility series and with this one it's I'm having so much fun with this. I'm just I'm I'm such a geek I know but um, to me saving money is a blast. I love saving money and finding ways around the system so that I don't have to buy all that stuff that they spend all that money advertising um, with a whole bunch of unnecessary ingredients. So today we're going to help you clean most of your house and it's only going to take two ingredients to do it. Now when I say that we're going to help you clean most of your house, I am not packing up coming to your house and cleaning your house for you, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you a really easy recipe to help clean your house. And this is um, an all-purpose cleaner and it can also be used on mirrors and windows. It's really great. Are you ready for this one? So you want to get um, some vinegar and you want to get some water. Hi, look at that. How easy is that? Okay. You want to do one part vinegar and one part water. Equal amounts. Put them in a spray bottle, put them in whatever, but a spray bottle is always easier. Um, and that is probably the best all-purpose cleaner you'll find and the best window cleaner, mirror cleaner that you will find. Okay. Um, they just they don't have all that extra stuff that you don't need. It's natural, it's not offensive, it's great. As a matter of fact, if you really wanted to snazz it up a little bit, you could add some essential oils to it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, and that won't hurt anything. It'll make it great. Um, you, you spend about 30 cents per bottle to make this. Is that just crazy as opposed to two to three dollars per bottle for that. Now this is going to take off most anything. It really is an all-purpose cleaner. It won't stain, it won't hurt, it won't harm anything, you know, um, and it shouldn't streak any of your windows or any of your mirrors. And I found the best way to make sure that it doesn't streak is to grab that old newspaper. Newspaper and vinegar is the best thing in the world for windows. It's fantastic. Um, but it's just so remarkably inexpensive and so you're going to just be able to sock away a whole bunch of money by not spending what you would normally spend on you know formula whatever and you know some kind of cleanup and some kind of window cleaner and some kind of I mean you're looking at bringing down four three four bottles into one one bottle to do all of those jobs now for some tougher jobs, there there are some tougher jobs like say a uh, microwave, okay? And uh, if you know, you know if you beat your microwave up quite a bit, um, there's a good chance that there's some kind of food that is absolutely hardened <laughs> in, into some spot of that microwave um, that you're going to have trouble getting out. And this may not take that out really easily. However, if you just grab some lemon juice or a lemon and uh, put it in some water and put that in the microwave for a minute or two uh, and let that kind of steam and work in there, you'll be able to get right in there and take whatever has hardened itself inside the microwave right out. Really is a miracle worker. But for the most part, vinegar and water, you guys. It's a great combination. It'll save you tons of money. Um, and it's just easy peasy. You won't ever have to run to the store to buy anything except vinegar again maybe a couple spray bottles because then now you can put one in each room. <laughs> Hope everyone is having a really great day. Remember, if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up, please subscribe, and please share vid videos. You can always follow us on Facebook and Instagram also. We appreciate you being there. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.